Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Gosh, it's been a couple of months since I've been out here with you guys, but uh, we're back. We're back in action today. So what we're going to do today is I got some turkey meat, Shady Brook, no hormones, no antibiotics. Of course, you know, I like to get the deal. So it's got a couple days left on the code and they discounted it for $6 for 48 ounces, which is three pounds of meat. So for six bucks, you're getting three pounds of meat. That's about $2 and nine cents a pound. $2.09 a pound for ground turkey is an excellent price, guys. So always look for those kind of discounts, all right? Let's get right into it. We're going to start with these meatballs. We're going to go right to our wet ingredients, okay? We've got three pounds of meatballs. So we're going to go. I usually do about an egg and a half per pound. So let's go with one, two, three. And these are organic eggs. We prefer the organic. You see those yolks, and this is an Eggland's Best. Now look at the difference in the yolk color on the Eggland's Best. No disrespect to Eggland and their best, but it's certainly not as good as Nelly's organic, free-range, never-put-in-a-cage bird. So you definitely will see a little richer uh, color in their yolk. All right, so let's go in with all the wet ingredients. We're going to go with four eggs, guys. We're going to go with... About a cup and a half seasoned breadcrumbs. Let's go two cups. We got three pounds here. And guys, with the breadcrumbs, if you want more meaty meatballs, use less breadcrumbs. If you have a little bit of meat that's got to go a long way, go ahead and add a little extra breadcrumb in there. It's not going to kill it. Don't sweat it, all right? Two cups of breadcrumbs. We're going to go with, we're going to go one teaspoon onion powder right in there. Boom. Okay, let's go with one teaspoon of garlic powder. I go right into my palm, guys. Bam. One one tablespoon. Okay. Also, we're going to go in there with a little oregano. I'm going to go with about, I would say, about a teaspoon on that as well. That's oregano. Alright, we've got some basil. Uh, it's all good. We got some basil put in there. We're in good shape. That came with the breading and everything. But let's go in with some grated Parmesan cheese. Let's do our grated Parm. Let's go with about three to four tablespoons. One, two. Now, I mix it together, the Romano and Parmesan cheese. So let's go with about three. We want these nice and cheesy, these meatballs. They're delicious when they're cheesy, so don't sweat it. Load it up with cheese. I'm going to also jump in here, non-sponsored, but we're going to go in here with our favorite Cabot cheese. Now, this is about a half a pound of cheese, the whole block here. We're not going to use all of that, but we're going to take these and cut them into little pieces. So what we do is we take those that have been cut into slices. We come down like this and like this. And then we just twist this around. And then we come down and we make our nice, beautiful little cubes. Because we want this to spread out within the uh, the mix and everything. Oh, watch those fingers around that knife there, there, Pizza V. I appreciate you helping me out here. I know I've been so busy, I've been able to do a video. But you're helping me is definitely going to make it easier. I appreciate that. All right. So let's go about with about a half of that. So we're going to go with about a quarter pound of, of cheese. All right, and that'll add a nice yummy flavor as those are baking, because we're doing baked meatballs, and they're going to be made with turkey meat instead of regular beef. It adds a little bit less fat, and they're a little bit healthier for you guys. All right, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff, get it out of my way, and let's go ahead. Let's get finished up with all our other ingredients here. We're going to go now fat. In the turkey meat is a lot less. This only has 15% fat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about three to four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil into my turkey meatballs, right into the mix, guys. Go ahead and mix that right in. This way we have a little bit of extra fat and they're not dry. You can also put a little chicken stock in here if you'd like, or turkey stock, just to make them a little bit more moist. But we'll be okay there. We got the olive oil in. All right. All right, now we got fresh garlic here, guys. I'm going to move this over. We're getting all the ingredients except for the turkey meat. We're going to go ahead and get in there. All right, here's our fresh garlic. We're going to dice that up. And all we do, guys, we just take it and we just pat it. Boom. 
couple of nice cloves and that releases the oils which in turn releases the husk right off the garlic look at that guys boom comes right off you'll see that also another trick you can do is put it in the microwave for about three to four seconds and then um, that will also release the oil and in turn will release the husk as well all right so let's get this diced up now you have an option here guys I like to put Vidalia sweet onions I like to dice those up I like to put those in my meatballs pizza V is not the big on this sweet onion or any onion for that matter so we're gonna leave them out but you can also add in like I said the Dahlia sweet onions in here finely diced just like that garlic okay and that'll be beautiful that'll also give it a little bit more moisture as well all right so here we go let's get cleaned up in our workstation we're looking right here at our meatball mixture if you will I'm gonna get right in there with my hands and I'm just gonna start slopping that around guys we're gonna get that all slopped around beautifully here all right boom this looks like a mud mix right there which is absolutely fine guys now watch we're gonna come into the turkey meat we're gonna just open that up and we're gonna take that turkey meat that turkey meat is gonna go ahead and get mixed right in our flavorful slop mix that we've just prepared don't worry guys don't worry it'll be fine that's gonna add all kinds of flavor in here okay so as we mix this in our turkey meat into our eggs into our breading our seasoning our cheese fresh garlic and olive oil all right that's gonna make for some wonderful flavor in these turkey meatballs all right guys all right so I'm gonna mix this thoroughly and when we come back we're gonna make these into meatballs and get them on a sheet pan because these are gonna be baked we're gonna go healthy here today we're gonna go baked meatballs they're gonna get baked in the oven and they're gonna be delicious guys we'll see you in a little bit all right guys welcome back now we're getting some meatballs made yeah, depending on what size you like I like a medium sized meatball you can make these into um, Swedish meatballs you can make these into humongo monster meatballs and just put two on a plate or you can make a medium like I am all right we got a little olive oil we just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the pan that's all very simple nothing too crazy and then these just boom these are already done we're going to roll them around a little bit. Now we're coming in, put them in a little over, like right about a palm full. We roll them up, get them nice and tight, guys. And right, bam, that's, that's a meatball. Boom, same thing. Grab it, take it, put it in your hand, give it a little rolly roll. Roll them around. This way they stay together, and that egg's going to help everything. And the breadcrumb and egg is going to help it all just mold together. we got chunks of cheese. Look at that chunks of cheese we got seasoning in there it's gonna be beautiful. a little too big I'm gonna take a little out of there all right here we go let's see how we did taking it out let's see if it's the same size that I want and it's about right yeah just a little teeny bit smaller maybe so here we go boom 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 we're just gonna keep going here guys it's been a couple of months since we uh, put a video out sorry about all that but uh, yeah we got that barbecue grill we placed a piece of junk we had in the back and Boy, I started getting busy with some uh, some work, which is a good thing. That's what pays the bills. This is more for fun and to help uh, guys and gals that want to learn how to cook on a shoestring budget and cook for themselves. I decided to do this YouTube channel. So anyway, also over on the side here, you see some nice cherry tomatoes there. I also had some leftover garden tomatoes from a friend of mine so that were starting to go bad. So I cut off the bad parts, and what I did was I blended them up in the blender with a little bit of leftover sauce that I had from a jar and I put it I mixed it in here I blended it all nice and smooth and I put it in here beautifully and that's cooking down and we're going to use that for our meatballs but refer to the sauce video guys if you want to make a nice basic marinara sauce for these meatballs take a look at the uh, simple sauce video that's out on my channel link in the description in the description we'll yes Yes, sir. Yes, way to do it. Pizza V. Let them know, buddy. Or in the pinned comment. I might do the pinned comment. Yeah, Pizza V takes care of that stuff. I'm not a tech uh, dad. I'm just a guy who likes to cook food and likes to get a good bargain and be able to make food on a shoestring budget at pennies on the dollar rather than going out and wasting a lot, a lot of money on a takeout food if that's what you're doing. You certainly save a lot of money and eat better 
by doing it for yourself. So I happen to have a love for it. So I, I like doing that. So, so anyway, guys, when we come back, we're going to throw these bad boys. We're going to, right now, let's get this bake on here. Let's go to 375. Let's go 390 on the oven. We're going to warm that up, guys. When we come back, we're going to get these meatballs in the oven. Hey, guys, I'm back. All right. I just wanted to let you know, I mean, I like to make my own sauce homemade, non-sponsored, but if you're in a pinch and you want to impress, um, Victoria sauce is excellent, okay? Uh, they make an excellent sauce um, if you're in a pinch. Otherwise, you go to my sauce video and you make the homemade sauce. This is just a little leftover jar sauce that I've added some tomatoes to, fresh from my buddy's garden. And I'm making a little reduction, a little ragu, if you will, here. Those are going to be what the meatballs are going to end up going in. And here is our just about full tray of turkey meatballs. Oven's preheating at 390. All right, we're going to put these last couple of meatballs in. And it's time to go ahead and go in the oven with this. We're going to leave these perfect. These are absolutely perfect the way they are. We're going to pop these in the oven, guys. And when we come back, this is going to be, uh, I would have to venture to say, these are going to take about 35 to 40 minutes to cook. We're going to check on them. We're going to flip them over. Okay? And when we come back, that's what we'll exactly be doing with you guys. All right, guys, we're back. I threw, figured I'd throw a little fettuccine on here to have the spaghetti and meat the ball. We're going to have fettuccine instead of spaghetti. Don't sweat it. Got our saucito in the back. Ready to go. Let's take a quick peek and see what's going on with our meat the balls in the oven. I have a pair of tongs. I'll grab those. And let's get in the oven right now and see what we got going on. That's about 35 minutes in, guys. At 2, 375, I started at 390, ripped it down to 375. Let's take a quick peek at what we're dealing with here, guys. Look at that color. We're going to flip these over now. All right, we're going to flip all these over. Okay, and we're going to go another 10 minutes on these or to 185 degrees internal temperature, which is what you need to be for poultry, guys. All right, 185. So you take a thermometer, go inside, make sure you're 185 degrees on these meatballs in the middle. All right, but we're going to put these in for another, oh, I would say about 10 to 15 minutes. And we'll be back, guys, and we'll be plating this when we come back. All right, thanks for coming out. We'll be back in a little bit. Oh, boy, that looks like we got al dente on the pasta. Let's give it a try here. I know our meatballs are right about ready to go. We got about 40 minutes on the meatballs total. That pasta is absolutely perfect. So, let me get in here and get our strainer. We're gonna come in here and strain this pasta real quick. Perfect. I'm gonna go with a little bit of cool water just to rinse some of that starch off the pasta. A little cool water into the pan, then come across and just pour that right over that pasta. That's going to chill that down and turn our stove off. Now what we have here is our saucito. All right, that's our sauce. All right, so let's get, let's go right to it, guys. I'm going to come in here, a little pasta, pasta. I'm going to load this up with some pasta. Okay. This is going to be family style, guys. We're going to load that right up. Alright, you stay right there. I'm going to go ahead and get my ladle. And we're going to come in here. And so, oh, look how thick that got. Oh, man. Boy, did that get thick and yummy from those homemade tomatoes. Thank you, Cal, for all those yummy yellow, red, plum tomatoes and regular beefsteak tomatoes. They were absolutely delicious. Now, here's what we're going to do, guys. Let's go ahead and get in here. And we know we're good on our temperature. We're over 185. We're at about 190 on the meatballs. Oh, look at those bad boys coming out, guys. Look at those meatballs. Now, here's what we're going to do to plate this, guys. We're going to come in here. And we're going to take some of these meatballs and go right in the sauce with that, guys. We're going to dump these right in the sauce. We're going to just coat these meatballs. Let's get this fan off. We don't need all that noise. I mean, God only knows. I don't want you guys listening to a fan all the time, but we'll cool it down after we get you off the video. So let's get a couple of more meatballs in here. 
All right, because we're going to make this family style for everyone to enjoy. All right, so we're good here. Let's put that there. Oh, look at that. Look at the sauces just coating those meatballs wonderfully. Look at that. Mmm. All right, perfect. So, here's what we're going to do, guys. Now we're going to take these meatballs. And we're going to come right in here with these meatballs, guys. Right onto the right onto the bowl. Look at how thick and yummy that sauce looks. Let's see. I'm going to go lefty so you can get the video of that. Let's get these in. Let's get these meatballs in here. All right, a couple of more meatballs. Oh wow, this is going to be loaded. Family style meatballs and spaghetti. Now guys, remember these are turkey meatballs, but don't go and tell anybody those are turkey meatballs because they'll never know. They're so delicious, they will never even know that they're made with turkey meat. All right, that's it. All right, so we're going to take that and we'll move that over there. We'll come back over here. I'm just going to finish this off, guys, with just a little bit of, just a little bit of extra sauce on those meatballs, right? Make sure they're coated beautifully. We'll get back in with the sauce. I'll be right back with you guys, because what I like to do on the top here. All right, guys, I like to hit that with a little parm and romano over the top. We're going to just sprinkle that on. Again, because I've already sprinkled it, obviously, you see that. But we're going to do it again because we screwed up the video, so we're going to get it right. All right, there we go. And here you go, guys. We've got a plate of meatballs, spaghetti meatballs, a la calabrese, baked turkey meatballs. Enjoy, guys. <laughs>